Let's go. G'day, welcome back to the channel. If it is your first time, please give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, drop a comment in below. Um, more fun with the Tonex One and answering some questions um, since we've done a couple of videos on the Tonex One. Can it take pedals? Well, yes, it can. Somebody also pointed out when I went through the presets that I skipped over the, the Dumble. How dumb of me, dummy, Dumble. Um, so this is the Dumble. Um, the Overdrive Special model. There's a bit of reverb on this patch. But otherwise it's a very clean, big um, sound. Now I've never played through a Dumble. Um, <laughs> I'm humble having never played a Dumble. But I've played through big amps that have got a, a lot of sonic range, usually as a result of very, uh, very big and capable output transfer transformers that can extend the bottom end range, can handle um, transient uh, bottom end frequencies, which are your most powerful. And that's usually a result of a, of a, a very well engineered power supply as well. Something that's very, very quick um, to be able to supply the power required from a bottom end note. Now, whether that translates via a computer patch algorithm um, loaded into a pedal slightly bigger than the size of my thumb, I don't know, but it's just another... It's another model. It sounds good. If you wanted to have a very big clean patch, that you can add pedals to. And that's what this, this particular episode's about. Can, can the Tonex handle pedals? Here's a TS9 Tube Screamer by Ibanez, straight in front of it. I think that's nice. Um, Tube Screamer is one of my go-to gain stages. Has a nice mid-range mid, mid -range push. Um, if you haven't discovered its, its magic or think it's a bit ho-hum, get in a band setting. Get in a, a four-piece band setting and uh, your time to take a solo. This just lifts the frequency range of the guitar, pushes it above everything without um, you know, going into massive gain territory. And makes it cut through. Okay, so it's more about whether um, the Tonex can take a pedal in front of it. Yes, it's past the TS9. Let's do the Boss Super Overdrive, this SD1. Here's the Dumble. Bit softer on the clipping. But good. So if you want to turn that one tone, that one Dumble clean patch. There you have it. 
stack them together and all sorts of mayhem can happen. Now, a bitty of it as well is you can have a noise gate uh, built into this. So I've got a lot of gain going on here. But it can be pretty quiet if you use the, um, the noise gate in the Tonex as well to tame things down. <laughs> Alright, two gain pedals cascading into the Dumby Dumble emulation. Alright, I've got the Tonex set up uh, for three three amp settings. There's the, the Tonex 1 graphic. Mmm, nice. Um, back to my librarian to see what I've got loaded in. Yes, we're on the Dumby at the moment. Let's scoot through. And this is, um, uh, drive it a bit, this is a Mesa Boogie a tight rectifier from the Mesa Boogie collection, reference collection. <laughs> Big gain going on here. Punch a TS9 into it like you need more gain, really? But is it going to change my uh, tone a bit? A bit. So if I turn the tone up a little bit, you get a little bit more bite, a little bit more edge. You can go from a sort of a, a hit with like a full on rock tone. Get a little bit more scritchy scratch going on there, a little bit more cut, a little bit more bite. Um, let's see what happens with the Super Overdrive. Yeah, once again, you've got a little bit more of an edge as the preset is at the moment. It's pretty well controlled. And then you whack another gain stage into it, like whack one in. You get that bordering on out of control, which is which is nice to have when you're going into a, a full on you know, rock solo. <laughs> Where you want things to be a little bit um, unpredictable, a, a, almost to the verge of, it sounds like it's about to catch on fire. And with, with both on, I get a lot of hiss, a lot of noise, as you would expect, gain on gain on gain, yeah. All right. Going from the Mesa Boogie to the, the Black Angus patch, which is JCM um, 800. Yes, it is, with matching cab. And I love this, I love this patch. And I was playing with the Les Paul last time and it sounded ace, but even with it, I mean, not even, with a Strat it sounds great too. Putting a TS9 in front of this, you get some out of control action. Mm -hmm. 
And once again, you've just got a little bit more articulation, a little bit more, uh, more dynamics. Because you can go from pretty subtle. I don't mind that at all. All right, with the SD1. As it is, this JCM800 um, emulation reacts really well with your guitar. I love that. All right, SD1 into a JCM800. It's a, it's a staple rock time. I think that patch takes pedals really well too. Put two on, because we can. We've lost any articulation that we might have had, but oh my God, it's good. All right, this has been um, <laughs> pedals punched into the Tone X1. Can it do it? Yes, it can. Yes, it can very successfully. If you, uh, gosh, there's so many ways you can use this in your live rig. Um, you've got three great amp tones there, just on the dot. Other gain stages. Wow. Back to a Mesa. Back to your Marshall. Thanks for tuning in. We'll, we'll catch you next time, yeah?